Deep in a holler in Eastern Kentucky, a long, long time ago, was a family who saw death. Every night for two months, they saw it pacing back and forth outside their cabin. The Scott family was not unlike any other family in Eastern Kentucky in the early 1900s. They were a big, hardworking family of modest means who migrated from West Virginia and settled into a rural Appalachian Kentucky holler. But the mountains, as we know, are full of secrets and mysteries, and for the Scott family, their encounter with Appalachian strangeness would come at a price. The first sighting came late at night in the early winter while most of the family was sleeping. It was a particularly cold night and so Mrs. Scott was up tending to the fire and mending the family's winter wear. As she rocked in her old wooden rocking chair, she spied a face in the reflection of a mirror watching her through the window at her back. The face was not human and it was unlike anything she had ever seen before. Three days later, her mother passed away in her sleep. The passing was unexpected, but the woman was elderly and and though the family grieved as normal, they didn't suspect anything out of the ordinary. Time went on, but once in a while, very late at night, strange sounds haunted the dark fields and forests outside their cabin. They would often catch glimpses of something tall and thin moving around in the shadow. The children complained of a ghastly lurker watching them through their bedroom windows. Cousin Gene and his family lived in the same holler. Gene's wife ran the general store in town, but Gene worked in the mines. Often, Gene and his wife Inez would bring their kids to the Scott family house and Mrs. Scott would babysit them. Sometimes the kids would stay for a few days at a time. One evening, while Mrs. Scott was setting the dinner table, Jean Jr. asked if they could set out an extra plate. When Mrs. Scott asked why, Jean informed her that he had invited the quiet man from outside his bedroom window to dinner. Only a day or two after this strange event, cousin Jean passed away. The third encounter with death happened to the Scott family's oldest son. It was a dead of winter and he heard his dad get out of bed late one night and put on his winter clothing and boots. Mrs. Scott came to his bedroom door and told him to get his clothes on and follow his dad out to the barn because something was wrong with the horses. As the oldest son of the Scott family entered the barn, he realized quickly that his father was nowhere to be found, but there was indeed something in there with the horses. He described it as tall and thin with small black eyes, and as he tried to quieten the horses, it watched him from the loft. This encounter scared him so badly, he ran straight back into the house where he found his mother sound asleep. When he told her what had happened, she had no memory of waking him and insisted that because of the snowstorm, his father hadn't made it home from the mines that night. He knew right then that his father wouldn't be coming home because what he had encountered in the barn was death. If you like scary Appalachian stories, grab a copy of my short horror story compilation, Ghost Mountain, Witches and Wonders, and follow for more spooky stuff.